Hi, my name is Ren Montgomery. I'm an Associate Professor of Sustainability at the Ivy Business School, and I teach and research greenwashing. In my research, we define greenwashing as communication that gives people an overly positive impression of an organization's environmental products and practices. So when we think about the old term walking the talk, these are organizations that are talking a lot about being green, but not doing quite so much walking. Greenwash matters for a number of reasons, and it's really reaching epidemic proportions right now. We see it across all sorts of industries, from fashion to food, in ESG claims, and net zero claims. A lot of consumers, 76% according to, to a number of studies, are looking for sustainable products, but they're losing trust in whether products are sustainable. And they should be. Recent data out of the EU shows about 50% of products are actually greenwashed. So this is a real concern. Investors have that same concern. They want to buy sustainable um, firms, sustainable funds, but they don't know if, if what they're, they think they're getting is actually truly sustainable. As well, employees. My own research shows that employees are very attuned to greenwashing. They're very aware of when their company does it, and they're very upset about hypocrisy. And it actually significantly increases turnover attentions once they become aware of that greenwashing. One of my main concerns is also the authentically sustainable businesses, the businesses that are doing the right thing, that are walking the talk, and the impacts this has on them and their ability to extract value from their sustainable investments. So how to avoid greenwashing? This is the big question, of course. So for our consumers and our firms that are maybe newer on this journey, there's a number of tools out there. We've put out one based on my own research at Ivy called How to Avoid Greenwashing. And this is intended for consumers as well as managers and walks you through 10 different types of greenwashing and sorts of questions to ask yourself internally or ask of a product or company to make sure they're not greenwashing. Second, for our authentically sustainable firms, are firms that are really knocking it out of the park, really walking, walking that talk. This is a tricky situation for them because they're competing, they're doing the right thing, they're putting money into it, but they're competing against firms that are greenwashing. So here you really want to differentiate yourself by talking about what you're doing, making sure your information's really credible, really transparent, so customers can see that you're different from those other firms that don't have that backup, don't have that credibility. Last but not least, a lot of firms right now are thinking, hey, maybe I turn to what's termed green hushing or, or brown washing in some of the literature. But I would advise against this. Certainly, if your house isn't in order, you should be a little bit more quiet about it. Don't be a green washer. So that's a good reason to step back. If you are doing the right thing, if you start to green hush, you're missing out on that huge market opportunity. 